Nearly three months ago, I purchased 1,000 mini mealworms, Tenebria obscurus. First, I wanted to determine whether they made a suitable live food for many of the creatures that I kept, and then I wanted to determine whether or not they were as easy as normal mealworms, Tenebrio molitor, to culture. The worms are now producing young. Here's an explanation of the setup that I used. I used a plastic container which I ventilated with screen and chiffon mesh. The substrate is approximately one inch of cocoa fiber, thanks to Hissardute of Arachno boards for that tip. Maintenance is very simple. The dry foods I offer consist mainly of chick growth crumble and fish food pellets. Moist foods include slices of apple, sweet potato, and similar items. I also add water crystals periodically. Within a month or so of adding the larvae, most of them had pupated. The emergent beetles were, not surprisingly, much smaller than normal mealworm beetles. They also have glossier, less elongated bodies. Recently, maybe two weeks ago, I noticed tiny larvae, and within a week or so thereafter, noticed lots of larger larvae. As I mentioned, it's taken nearly three months for the larvae to approach the size that they were when I purchased them, but there are now larvae at many different stages of development, so the culture should produce more or less continuously from this point. It seems that the mini mealworm is quite simple to raise, and in fact, no more difficult than its cousin, the common mealworm.